welcome to another episode of Cooking with Alethea. Today we'll be making Sunday breakfast and it's going to be a little different. Um, it's already been pre-recorded, but what we're going to make is a small Sunday breakfast this time, which will be bacon and spinach quiche. And also I will be making uh, apple cherry cobbler with granola topping. And with that apple cherry cobbler, what I did was I, I cut up three apples with the skins on, made them into little, you know, little cubes. And um, I ma made a mixture of like an apple pie mixture uh, in the saucepan with some sugar, some butter, and uh, your cinnamon, nutmeg, and a little ginger and vanilla extract. And I put the apple, cut up apples in there and the cherries and just mixed it up a little bit, cooked it slightly. Then I put it into a, a loaf pan, buttered loaf pan, and then I made my own granola mixture over top of it, like a crumble mixture with uh, cinnamon and some margarine and mixed it all together and sprinkled that on top and baked it in the oven for 350 at 350 for about 10 minutes, 10, 12 minutes or so until it got a little brown. And uh, it's very delicious, very good. And then on top of it, you know, I put it in a glass dish and I put some Cool Whip on top of it. So that's like our breakfast dessert after you eat your, your uh, breakfast quiche. So uh, just sit back and enjoy this little clip of the breakfast that I made for you guys today. It's a Sunday breakfast, a weekend breakfast. And also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. It's free to subscribe to this channel and any channels. And uh, all you have to do is just hit that subscribe button and uh, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you next time on Cooking with Alethea. Okay, today we're making a spinach and bacon quiche. We have our eggs in the bowl, along with one and a half cups of heavy cream. Six eggs and one and a half cups of heavy cream. And we're going to add our cr crisp baking, bacon, excuse me. We have um, some Colby and Monterey Jack cheese, and also Swiss cheese, shredded up. And that all goes into the bowl. We're going to stir this together, mix it well, and we're getting ready to add our spice, our not our spices, but our vegetables. Can't forget those, the spinach, fresh spinach. I cut it up and sauteed it slightly in olive oil, a little bit of olive oil. And we're going to mix that all together, and it's all going to come together. You want to mix well and it all comes together and if you want you can add other vegetables in if you like here we're adding our seasonings we have our black pepper just a little we have our onion powder as you see and just a little bit of that we have the parsley flakes. Sprinkle a little bit of that in there. And we're going to mix it all together. We're adding a garlic powder in there too. We're going to mix that all together. And we didn't put no salt or adobo mixture in here because the bacon has a lot of sodium in it so that's your salt intake there. And it all will come together and this is very very delicious. This quiche is very delicious. We put, we're putting one fourth cup of apple juice in the mixture. It's going to give it a slight sweet taste. Not too sweet, but it's going to, you know, incorporate everything all together. Everything will come in all together. We mix it well and then we get a pie shell, a nine inch pie shell. And we're going to pour the mixture in. And it's okay if it fills all the way up to the top like that because, you know, it, it it's, it's not going to rise. It doesn't have baking powder in it. So, you know, this is fine. Then we're going to add the remaining of our cheese that I shredded up more. Swiss and Colby Monterey Jack cheese. And that's going to go all on top. It's going to really, it really is very good. Sounds like an omelet in a pie shell. But it's, it's just, you guys really got to try this. My daughter, she couldn't stop eating this. 
is very good. It's a very good breakfast food. So this is like our little breakfast video today. Nothing heavy, just, you know, the quiche. It's very delicious. Okay, now we're going to bake it in the oven at 375 degrees for 35 to 45 minutes. And here is our finished product, spinach and bacon quiche.